From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. This is caught, and he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this defense is what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Nothing doing there. They're going to wind up holding him at the two. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. They'll try to run for it here with Dickerson. And this time he is in. Yes. Eric Dickerson with his second touchdown here in this first half. And they are able to add on to their advantage. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to take it into the end zone. Extra point by Badgley up and good. And it's now 14 to nothing. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. Fielded right around the eight. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And Charles, it's kind of gut check time. Look, I know it's early first quarter, just their second drive of the game, but they've already thrown the interception, given up the score. You're down double digit. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. But just a lot going on there in the middle of the field, and this one winds up a turnover. Yeah, the runner crossing route here, and the idea of it is to get defenders confused about who to go with. But if you throw it too early, sometimes it's your quarterback that gets confused. And here, he throws it into coverage and gets it intercepted. Now following the interception, here's Newton. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. And the Ravens are going to take possession of the football. Boy, that's the kind of interception that can save a game right there. They're already down two scores. Huge play, slowing down what was going against them. I was thinking the same thing. You get down three scores there at this stage, could be in for a long ball game. The cutting hands throw into the hands of Andrews. And they are going to have a first down, and they're in field goal range as well as they're down inside the 20. Out of the gun here, it's Cunningham. And he's got it. And in for the Ravens touchdown. Mark Andrews from 19 yards away. And the Ravens get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that'll make our score 14 to seven. now to kick it away following the touchdown. The offense back out there at the line ready for their next drive. And with a seven-point lead, they'll likely look to take this to the locker room and not really press the issue. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. On first and 10, Newton. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. 
Well, this was a 14-0 game not too long ago. Things were looking pretty good. And then you give up the touchdown on the last drive. Now the interception. So that's a lesson in trying to stay vigilant, isn't it? You have to stay on top of things. Can't relax too much because, as you noted, things change. Now they've got to go out there and get a spark going again and try and slow down this comeback. On first down, it's Cunningham. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked up by the Hall of Famer, Derek Brooks. And a potential turning point as he'll get the football in very good field position late in this first half. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. They certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. This is what defensive coaches ask of their defenders every single ball game. Get a hand on every throw in coverage. They want the deflections. They want the knockaways. Pick it yourself if you can, but at least knock it down and guarantee it's incomplete. Well, they already had the early lead, and they get the interception, Charles, and now they add three more with the field goal. Yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it getting plays on both sides of the ball. A winning recipe if they can keep this up. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. The Ravens set to receive the football trailing here as we resume action in the third quarter. Out of the end zone comes Smith. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. Up to midfield. The 30. 10. He will take this all the way. Touchdown, Ravens. Well, he made the right choice by result but a little bit surprising because now the touchback's coming back to the 25 instead of the 20. When guys feel that deep in the end zone, I think most coaches want them to take a knee. Yeah, it's resulted in more kneel downs. Not right there. Tucker with the extra point, and the lead's down to a field goal at 17-14. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And their defense just helped them out by getting the football back on the opening drive here in the second half. And now can the offense follow through with points on their first possession? And that's a big one for them because after the work the defense has done, they've got a chance here to open up this lead. Newton now to throw. And look at this. Cam Newton intercepted a third time. And he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. So this whole game gets flipped on its ear right there. The interception return for a touchdown. And this lead changes hands here in the third quarter. And it certainly felt like this defense had a read on what was going on on the offensive side of the ball and said, let's cut down our coverage a little bit. Let's be in a position to make a play on the ball. 
And boy, that sure turned out well for them. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They had that lead that is now gone. It is completely gone. Yeah, how does that affect the psyche? Or am I reading into that too much? They should be okay still? No, you're not reading into it too much at all. You've got to wonder what the psyche is of a team because once you build up a lead and things are rolling pretty well, you don't expect it to change. And for it to change this dramatically, and now they're the team doing the chasing, yeah, you want to check out where they are mentally and whether or not they have it in them to come back. We'll soon find out. Yeah, they're on their heels a bit right now. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Here's Newton. Open man for him. He's got him. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. 20. There's Newton. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that'll make it second down. Inside give to Dickerson. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. Got a man. It's Randy Moss. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Dickerson on the handoff. He'll take this to the 46. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. To throw is Newton. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Newton able to use those legs and get past the marker to pick up the first. Now Newton on first down. Open man is Skoranek. He's got it. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. I wouldn't be surprised to see the next step in utilizing this position is to actually utilize more of a scat back in this spot because we saw the catch there, right? He made it. He's a bigger, stronger guy, maybe not quite as elusive as maybe someone else you would put in. Yeah, there. didn't get the big yardage there you might out of a smaller back. Meanwhile, this one knocked down in the backfield. It's incomplete. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. Here's Newton. Looking left side, and it's complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 15-yard line. Three quarters in the books. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Dickerson trying the right side, and he is going to lose yardage here. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Running it, Dickerson, and he'll go down here at the 12 yard line. Five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Now it's Newton. And the throw there going to be incomplete. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. 
Desperation time. Newton, fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they...